here i am going to show demo on azure availability set let's create a resource group and then create a virtual network select a resource group for virtual network it's created let's create availability set give the name here we have two para parameters called fault domain and update domain for at default fault domain is 2 and update domain is 5 click on create okay it's created now we have to create two vms I am selecting Windows 8.1 Give the parameters Name, Username, Password And put in a resource group Select the location Now choose the VM size And this is the important step here we are selecting the availability set where we are going to put the VM click OK meanwhile we are creating one more VM VM size put this VM in same availability set and click OK ok now both VMs are up we log into first VM by remote desktop give the username and password check the next VM Now we are going to host sample website on VMs. We have to enable the IS. Default it is disabled. We have to enable the IS on both the VM. done I am hosting the sample website on default website default page only I have created a sample web page on my desktop let's copy on the VM and browse it it's working same thing copy on the vm2 
just check the just change the parameter vm2 to identify now we have to create inbound rule in network security group for port 80 by default it is blocked for second vm At the same time, we have to enable the AT port inside the VM. Now we have to check the website from internet. It's working for VM2. Copy the public IP address and paste on the browser. Yeah, it is also working. Now we have to configure load balancer for both the VM. Give the name, set the public IP address for the load balancer, put in a resource group, create. Yeah, it's created. Now we have to put the VMs in backend pool. Click on add. Give the name. Select the VM from available defect. Set the parameters. Click OK. Now both the VM are in backend pool. We have to create the health probe for HTTP and click OK. Yes, it's created. Now we have to create load balancing rule for port 80. Give the name for load balancer. By default port 80 is selected. Click OK. and it's created now just copy the ip address and paste in the browser yeah it's working now we have to stop vm1 and you have to check is it pointing to vm2 
Mm, yes, it's pointing to VM tau. 